three have happened within 24 hours. We are very worried about what the reason for this could be. These images taken by Danish armed forces show bubbles rushing to the surface of the Baltic Sea above the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines. The leaks were detected in two gas pipelines running from Russia to Germany, emanating from Sweden and Denmark's economic zones north of Poland. Both the Swedish PM and her Polish counterpart labelled the leaks as being most likely deliberate acts. While Germany also joined in on the accusations of sabotage, its gas regulator emphasising the importance of creating new European import routes to offset reliance on Russian gas. A very crucial question is who, if anyone, did this. It wasn't an accident. After a perhaps slightly bumpy start, the fuel switch is underway. We will probably see further savings in the coming weeks. We know that ecologically this is not ideal. There's no question about that, but it is the path we have to take this winter and the next. Washington said they would provide support to European partners conducting an investigation into the leaks, which Copenhagen says are likely to last for a week. The Kremlin did not rule out sabotage as a reason behind the damage.